Howdy folks, ho ho ho, happy holidays, this is Dr. Jeff Camarda with my predictions now on how will the GOP tax reform uh, bill affect your estate planning which is just now grinding through the Senate and set to, uh, to be set for a vote this evening, we'll see what happens. So tax reform is no simple matter. Fairness in the tax system, as in most of life, is a holy grail. Winners and losers are driven by political economics, and unintended consequences abound. If my decades-long study of taxation has taught me anything, it's that the actual tax opportunities and challenges on the ground are often far different than envisioned by those writing the tax legislation, and even by the IRS in converting the new law into a workable regulation. And so it is with a new push to reform taxes as we approach the mid-21st century. Both the Senate and House bills, subject of course to compromise, horse trading, and eventual reconciliation before uh, being sent for the President's signature, both bills in current form offer substantial estate tax relief. The House version repeals the estate tax entirely as of 2024, while the Senate, Senate version, last one I've seen anyway, keeps a tax but doubles the transfer tax exemption tax-free amount you can pass on before tax are imposed from over $5 million per person or about $11 million per couple to over $22 million per couple effective, we'll see, for, 20, uh, for 2018. On the surface, this is great news for those worried about estate taxes. The problem is that since it's, a, it's virtually impossible that the bills will pass when the supermajority is needed to make the changes permanent, making nearly certain that this year's ver uh, version of any estate tax repeal will be as temporary as the one last signed by President George W. Bush in 2001. You may remember back then the estate tax was repealed uh, fully, but only for 2010, but returned with a vengeance in 2011. The proof will plan on a return of or increase in estate taxation later this century, assuming one's death can't be timed as precisely as to make jumping, jumping through with 2010 only tax hoop cost effective. I'm being uh, somewhat facetious, of course, uh, but again, I think that the odds are overwhelming that an estate tax will be in force uh, by the time most of you pass on to a happier place, and so planning to control estate taxes is a prudent thing to do for successful families. So the advice from Camarda is to continue to use planning techniques like SLAT, Spouse of Lifetime Access Trust, Dynasty Trust, Family Limited Partnerships, um, and, uh, and their variations and the like to freeze estate values at tax-free levels and take advantage of any temporary estate tax perks like increased exemptions or appeals to accelerate the planning to freeze and defund your estate. With inevitable increasing deficits and the inevitable shifting of power between Democrats and Democrats and Republicans back and forth, back and forth, taxes high, taxes low, taxes rich, give them a break. You know, that's going to continue. That you know, that tug of war will continue throughout your lifetime, your kids' lifetime. We think the estate tax is bound to not only return to become much more oppressive in the years to come, and the prudent will plan to avoid the tax if, in fact, it is in force. Uh, when uh, when your state um, becomes an estate. Anyway, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, wishing you and yours the happiest of holidays. Thanks so much for watching. Once again, this is Dr. Jeff Kamar. Until next time, bye-bye.